Damn, son, where'd you find this? Hey, Rockets fans. Um, you're seeing Levert right now. I'm going to show a little bit of his highlights, and then I'm going to try to break down the trade between the Indiana Pacers and the Houston Rockets and why it's prolonging. So as of right now, I mean, y'all pretty much know um, Oma Depot doesn't want to come to Houston. He wants to go to Miami. So right now, Levert is a part of this team, and he might stay on this team if, you know, if – Indiana and the Rockets don't get another team involved. So there's a possibility that, you know, Levert could go somewhere else besides Indiana. And Victor Oladipo might go somewhere else as well. Because you don't want to have two disgruntled players back-to-back -back that don't want to be here. Uh, Miami may be behind the scenes. I'm not too sure. I don't see why since Victor Oladipo is a uh, free agent. And you won't really want to give up Hero, who is uh, on a few years uh, like a rookie contract. So it doesn't really make sense for Miami to trade for Victor Omodipo since he is a free agent. But like I said, this is the reason why it's holding it up. Victor Omodipo doesn't even want to come here. So I'm okay with keeping Levert. Like I said, I don't see him here. I'm pretty sure Indiana really wants Levert. So we'll see. It might be Michael Turner who comes here. But um, what I don't know. Things could change. This is the NBA. But also, I wanted to get into Deshaun Tate. The other day, he had a great game. And, you know, you'll see right here some of his highlights. And, you know, I see him as, um, I know a lot of people say he's like a, a better P.J. Tucker. I mean, without the three-point shot. But I see him more like a, a Draymond Green um, without the shot as well. You know, Draymond Green did a lot of similar things with um, the Warriors when they're at their peak. But he has that potential to be that player. He has a lot of savviness. I mean, he has a lot of miles under his belt. Even though he's a rookie, he played overseas. He played with Ohio State. So he, he's coached, and he, and he played in college for four years at Ohio State. So he has a lot of, um, you know, miles under his belt, like I said. And he was taught the game very well. And uh, we got one of his coaches from overseas brought on to the Rockets, and, you know, that coach brought Jashon Tate to the Rockets. So I'm very fortunate. I see him as a big piece to, you know, this defensive anchor. You know, I know he said he he sees himself as a junkyard dog, and, you know, that second unit is a junkyard dog, that whole team. You know, Jashon Tate, Sterling Brown. And, you know, with, um, with Daniel House being um, – out for the last few games. I don't really see him in the starting unit anymore. He fit well with what the Rockets were doing because of his versatility, but you don't necessarily need that no more. Um, you're going a new direction. You know, you were trying to still build around James Harden and making him feel like, you know, what he could do best. But now this is what the team could do best. And Daniel House hasn't really shown me, you know, he still got it. He could be traded. Um, PJ Tucker could be traded. I'm a I'm a I'm a realist. I I could see. I know. I've heard stories that Tillman, you know, doesn't have the money to you know pay over the luxury tax, and they are under the luxury tax as well. But they don't want to find themselves back over there in the luxury tax. Not right now. So right now, even if they trade for Victor Omadipo, um, they're gonna trade him. Because they don't want to pay. They don't want to pay nobody. So their attention, and they don't want to bring Levert along either because he has a contract too. I don't really know his numbers, but I do know they don't want Levert because of his the money. And that's all it is, really. It's all about the money. So they're trying to clear a lot of cap space, and they're going to try to play it safe in the draft. So I I see I see any Rocket like John Wall. Um, DeMarcus Cousins won't be here next year. I promise you that. John Wall, I know he he has a two year contract. I think I'm not really sure. I can't really remember, but I know on his last year they're gonna trade him, especially if he plays well. If he keeps playing well, they're really gonna trade him. But there might be a team, you know, more eager to trade for him. It's just his contract so ridiculous. But I know he's gonna be a viable piece on that one year deal, that one year left on his deal. But I, I said they're in rebuild mode. And I don't think the rebuild is going to be five to ten years from now. I think it will be um, two to three years. But like I said, let me know your thoughts on Tillman being so cheap. Thank you. Remember, like and subscribe. Kobe Tree out.